Hey everyone, Dustin here. Happy Monday. I am super excited to teach you this awesome strategy that I've been using and actually building relate building really good rapport with leads that have come in. Tracy and I have been doing testing different two different uh, split testing two different types of ways with leads in our MLSP business. One we've been uh, putting it where they just leave an email. So what it comes up is as you're going to see is it comes up as friend automatically. And then we've also been doing some split testing where we're actually asking for um, uh, their name email and phone number now what's really cool with reportative this sweet app I'm gonna tell you about today that's a plug-in extent it's a Google extension um, it's also on Firefox Firefox I'm gonna tell you right now I haven't really had any luck with I've tried installing it on there and it did not work uh, multiple times so I definitely suggest that you go ahead and use the Google Chrome uh, download Google Chrome if you have not already um, it's definitely fast and it's a really great browser and it's really easy to get installed into your system. Um, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead. Um, we're going to take the, I'm going to show you up here at the top. You should know what the address bar is right uh, uh, by now. And you're going to go ahead and type in reportive.com. And when you do that, you hit enter. Okay. And it brings up reportive. Uh, get rich context profiles right inside Gmail. Basically what this does is this app is going to start taking and just by an email it's going to be able to find all the different social sites that these people are actually connected to so then you can go ahead and dig deeper and find out what these people are about like this is think about this, this is a light bulb moment whenever whenever you talk about pro, when you're prospecting someone and you want to be like the doctor right and you want to be able to prescribe a certain something that's going to help and benefit them in their business well if you go ahead right off the bat and you start uh, finding these people and you let's say they have um a LinkedIn account but there is so much stuff that's missing he doesn't have enough content he doesn't really have a good mission statement that's not really what he's all about and he would like to be able to be better at it you can go over there and engage with them so enough said about that I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get this installed really quick and then we're gonna go straight into some live uh, live showing and doing exactly what what reportive can do for you all right, so all we're going to do now is to install, we're going to install the uh, extension for Google Chrome. As you can see right here, to, to install Reportive directly from Google, from the Chrome Extensions Gallery, we're just going to click right here where it says Chrome Extensions Gallery. Now, I've already got mine installed, so it probably will say at the top, see, it will say added to Chrome. Now, yours is just going to say click here to add, you know, it's going to say add the extension. So you'll click it and it will install the Google Chrome extension. Once you're done with that, all, you're ready to rock and roll. You'll go ahead and uh, I, I would say refresh your email and ne next thing you know, you'll see it and I'm gonna show you what happens right now. So, and if you have any questions and you don't and you really don't know what you're doing and it's not installing, go ahead and write that in the group so uh, I can help, Tracy and I can help you get this installed and ready for your business. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move over here I've already got an email already pulled up. Now this is Charles. Uh, Charles is a member of our uh, of our team in MLSP. Y'all should know him um, and seen him in some of our hangouts. Uh, he's been rocking out, and as you can see, um, whenever Charles came in, yes, he came in with the he put his name, his first and last name, his email address, and his phone number. Okay. Now let me tell you about something about him. He did not pick up his phone when I called him. He never answered his voicemail. He never read that email that I sent to him, and he never got that text messages. So, uh, the, sometimes people are not always going to um, get those messages that you send out, but they're going to take action on their own. But what I always say is, it's it shows the, you know the universe and energy that this is something that you want. And for you know some people, that is all it takes. It could have took that extra length that you decided to do to build. Uh, to get in touch with them and connect with them that they decided to choose to, to answer you back and say, look, man, I'm really excited to work with you. I saw what you're doing online and it, you know, a piece of content you had just touched me. So what I want to show you about what's really awesome about Reportive is um, when you first start off on this email, there is really nothing there. So I'm actually going to right click and hit reload. Okay. 
Now, as you can see, there's nothing here. So now, as you can see, looking up, it's looking up by the email, and it's pulling all this information about Charles. All I did was put his email, all Reportative did was put their email address in their server and their system. And what it did is it connected to all these different social platforms that Charles is involved in. Now, at the time, Charles did not have his LinkedIn set up where I could actually connect with him. That's something that he learned with us. So now, whenever he pulls up, he has a LinkedIn that pulls a profile that pulls up now as one of the connections. Now, one of the main things that I did with Charles is I looked over here and he had Vimeo. Now, Vimeo is just like is like YouTube. It's a video sharing hosting site that share you know you can host your media on. So what we're gonna do is I just actually clicked on it. Okay, as you can see, so now we know I've looked and I kind of was like, I didn't really know anything about him, but I knew, so I seen North American power right here. So I'm like, okay, so he's definitely in, a, he must be in a multi-level marketing company in the network marketing industry. So I'm starting, now this, think about this, this is stuff you're starting to create about your prospect, you're starting to, your prospects, you're starting to build that energy, that bond, that connection that's already, already starting by you digging in deeper to find more about these leads and build a relationship with them, okay? So that's not just a computer. You want to start building a relationship. Now, the next thing I did is I started to think, you know what? It would, wouldn't have been better if I clicked on this Vimeo video and it was actually Charles talking about, you know, about some giving some value and some tips and then also talking about some benefits of this. Now, one thing that would have also benefited him if it was actually him in his video that actually and then he actually had a, you know, his own link that actually would link back to him either on one of his social sites or something like that. So that what that's what I mean by you have to prescribe the prescription like a doctor. You need to come up with the antidote. So what I started to think is, wow, I know I now have more posture even more than I had before because he came out as a lead, but I've already seen something that he's been promoting that is broken and in my and in my sense I see I see there's a broken piece there to that puzzle that I can we can my wife and I being on our team and MLSP can solve and help him that's a solution that's what you're an entrepreneur you find a need you find you find a need or a problem and you offer a solution with a tool a strategy or service Okay, so when you're talking to people, remember that that is major posture, which is going to help you. That's what I call it a golden nugget in this industry, what I just told you there. All right, now, enough about that. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and go back. Now, the next thing, as you can see, is awesome, this little feature right here where you can compose an email. That is pretty sweet. You can literally click on compose. And it will literally pull up a message to Charles. Now, what this is something that I already I already have an email scripted that I pulled up. So what I do is I look where they've come from in our tracking, which Tracy and I can teach at another time about how to track your leads. Um, but uh, this one came from general network marketing that we had from the, that's even from one of our blog posts. Um, it could be somewhere else. It was just a network marketing campaign that we had set up. So that's the reason why it was awesome that I could find out that he's in North American power. Now, normally what I do is I'll just go over here and I've already got a couple things. As you can see, I've got lead, compo uh, lead email composed and I've got one for a YouTube lead follow up. So we're going to go ahead and open up lead email. So as you can see, this is a little thing that I had scripted up. I typed up. I said, hi, you recently filled out your information on getting leads for your network marketing business. Are you still interested in finding out more on how my wife and I generate consistent leads for our business? If you are, please respond to this email with your phone number or we can also connect on Facebook. Now here's your call to action for them. Click here now to add me as a friend. So, and, and I look forward to connecting with you, Dustin Wisnowski. Now, I'm not trying to sell them on anything. I'm not trying to pitch them on anything. I'm saying, hi, Charles. I would like to build a relationship with you. Here's my personal face. Here's my Facebook. I want you to go ahead and add me as a friend, and I look forward to connecting with you. I look forward to getting more to know about you. I look forward to finding common interests and things that we can talk about. Because before else, people want to, you want to build a relationship with somebody way, way, way before you even try to start getting to the, getting into to the point of prospecting and closing them on a sell, okay? People do not like to be sold to. I don't like to be sold to, so I'm not going to try to sell somebody, okay? All right? Now, there's always different, different, you know, different uh, floats of uh, things for different boats, how that goes, but uh, uh, basically what you want to do is you just want to build that rapport with people and connect with them, okay? 
So now all I did was literally took this, copied it, went to reportive. I put over here and I pasted what I had. Now, another thing that I like to do is I like to put their name in, make it a little more personal. So hi, Charles, comma, and then a subject. The subject is now, if they're in a company, I know what company they're in. I'm going to go ahead and put in the name of the company right there. And then I'm going to say lead gener lead help. Okay. So that lets them know off the bat where, why, why, where that email come from, where that email came from. And also let them know that you obviously are here because you, you, you filled out your information. I'm letting you right off the bat that you know why, why you're here and why I'm responding back to you. So they don't just think this is some random person. You know what I mean? Now, another thing, cool thing about this is, is Charles is got LinkedIn now. So actually what I can do here is I can click connect. Now, the first time you do this, it's going to ask you to link your, your accounts first. Okay. But I've already linked mine. So it's not going to pop up and show you that you need to go ahead. But now it's going to say, report have showed me your LinkedIn profile in email. I'd like to connect with you on my professional network on LinkedIn. So what's going to happen there? Now you can actually compose your own message. I actually just leave it there. Uh, you know, you want to be efficient at this as possible once you get started. So kind of just leave them there. They obviously tested this and it works. So then you're just going to click on send an invitation. Boom. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's a check mark that says invited. So I've actually invited Charles to connect with me on LinkedIn. That is powerful, y'all. This all came from just an email. Okay. Just an email. That is very, very powerful. I'm, what I'm trying to show you here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, and I also, look what else I did. I took notes. You can actually put notes where it says add a note about this person. So that lets you know, that lets you know that, you know, you took care of what you were supposed to do in your business. And now you can actually follow up with this lead. If you need to write important details, like I need to follow up with, you know, follow up at, let's say 7 PM central standard time. Okay. Now something that might be better if he's Eastern standard time, you know, maybe put Eastern Standard Time in there. So that lets you know that you need to be ready at 6 p.m. because we're Central Standard Time. And that lets you know that you're ready on his time, okay? And then you would just click Save right there, and it would save your note right here on the right. Okay, now another example I'm going to show you is let's show, let's show an example of somebody who's actually got a ton of social networks. So we're going to go over to here. Okay. Now, as you can see, this next person is Dustin Grant. Yes, he's a member of our MLSP team as well. Uh, we want to highlight him today. Tracy, uh, you know, we talked about it. And he has got a lot of social interaction going on that we want to touch base with. Now, as you can see at the top right, you've, you can see right off the bat, he has a gmail.com. Now, that gives me an, that lets me know that I can immediately put him in my Google circles. That gives me hope that this is going to, uh, report is going to pull up the Google Plus uh, uh, plugin part. And I'm going to be able to just go over here, hover my mouse. Since we're already networking, I won't. But we can go over here and just click on networking. And then it'll say add to circles. And it will go up one right here. And now here is another thing that's freaking sweet is you can actually click on Google Plus. Boom. Now it brings me to Dustin Grant's Google Plus account. And I can actually see the activity that's going on with this person. Now, Tracy, like she said, and, and you know, we want you to start engaging with other people. The best way to engage, obviously, when you're first starting off is find people that have common interest in, you know, if there's somebody out there that is, is, is rocking it out and it looks like they're, you know, there's somebody that is just amazing to see, you know, go ahead and, you know, go down here and you can actually see a couple things and you can say, this person seems pretty active. You know, they've actually got a lot going on. They seem to like cars. They like to go outside doors, having fun, hanging out with family. This person, uh, you know, Dustin looks like he likes the Yankees. He's going to the Yankee Stadium. Um, you know, he congratulated. Uh, well, look, he just congratulated my wife and I on uh, members of the month inside My Lead System Pro. That's awesome. Okay. So, you know, you can actually go down here and, uh, you know, you can plus one this. I can be like, wow, that's awesome. But I'm going to do something more about somebody else to let them know that I appreciate them. So you kind of want to look down here and like right here, I just got my blue sign today. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, get going to plus one it. Okay. Plus one is, I think it's pretty much like a Facebook like that you can actually do for somebody on Google plus. So I just liked it for him. Okay. He's going to get a message that lets me know that I, I like that. Now that's called engagement. Now you can do this also on Facebook as well. 
Okay, now as you can see, you can go down and see the different things that he's in, involved in and what he likes to do. Now, here's one other thing I'm going to show you how to dig deeper that's not in the Reportative app, and here's something I've noticed. Now, most of the time, you know, like we said, with a Gmail account, stuff is all linked together with Google. So that's why it's so important to have a Gmail account for your business. So you can have YouTube, G Google+, Plus, your Gmail. You know, you can have all your, all your social media accounts set up. So now what I can do is I can go over here and click on YouTube. Boom. Now we actually have his YouTube most recent videos that came up. So you can see if this person's active, an active participant in their business, which is huge. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click on his YouTube channel. Now let's just say, for instance, Dustin Grant was the lead of mine. And I, you know, we didn't have, you know, a connection or relationship yet. But I wanted to dig a little deeper to try to connect with this guy. Well, first thing what I would do is, one, I would already subs I would subscribe to his channel if I haven't already, but I already did subscribe, so that's already all good. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is you can actually go over here where it says About, and if we click on About, you can pull up where you can actually send him a message. This is pretty sweet because I always say the best way is to get make some noise, like uh, Rob Force said in the MLSP wet, uh, hangout the other night, make some noise. Making noise, any possible way you can get in contact with people and get noise spread is going to be the best way to start getting your content and yourself shared all over the internet and world. So we're going to click on send message. In here, you can actually click on like subject so we can put you know um, I can put hi Dustin message okay now I've already got something I, I, I uh, scripted over here like for a, I got a YouTube lead follow-up message now this is what I say whenever people have like a, a YouTube so for instance this guy's name was Luther at the time I had tracking that he was in uh, an, um, a network marketing company so I said Hey, hey, Luther, I'm writing to you because you filled out your information on help with lead generation for your ACM business. Are you still interested and would like to find out more about the system we are using to get consistent leads a day? Please reply, re, please reply back to this message, Dustin. Okay, so I'm going to say, I'm not going to go right off the bat because I'm writing on YouTube. I'm just going to, I want to stand out like the other, like the, uh, from the crowd. I want to actually make an impact where somebody's going to actually see a genuine message from me. Okay. Doesn't have any kind of link in it. Doesn't say anything. Once I build the relationship with this person, if he, once they respond back, I'm going to go ahead and then say, hey, awesome. I'm glad you're interested. I would love to, I would love to bring this to Facebook so we can make a better connection. Normal majority of the times, if somebody's actually interested, yes, they're going to say yes if they have Facebook, and they're going to want to bring that connection more to life. And that's when you just keep building that relationship and building on it. Okay, so I've already dug in here. I kind of showed you what you could do on YouTube with Dustin Grant. All right, so what we've got here is, like I said, you got phone numbers and things like that. So this is exactly what the reportive system is all about and how amazing it is to actually get this installed and going in your, in your business today. So I thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, definitely uh, shoot a shout out in the Facebook group. Immediately after watching this video, you know, definitely go ahead and like and comment and let us know that you're ready to t implement and take action in this in your business. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.